All right, so today our plan is to uh, fix this flat on this e-bike. You know what, Devin, go get that little brown step stool. So, I don't know how hard this is gonna be. It's gonna be easy, we're gonna pull this sucker out. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be easy. But I'm gonna try to uh, film or maybe just highlight the steps, what it takes to pull this wheel off. And the only reason why I think it might be difficult because this side has a hub motor. So it might be more difficult. But anyways, we're gonna pull it off get the tube changed and uh, you can see we got a flat right here and uh, hopefully uh, get this bike back on the road up on this little stool thing here there is a brake line underneath so I put this little towel and uh, we're probably gonna have to like lean it forward or whatever but we're gonna start uh, by disassembling. I'm not sure what we're going to need to disassemble, but let's look at Looks like we're going to have to take We probably don't have to take these calipers off. We're going to have to take this axle bolt off. There's a zip tie for the cabling for the motor And then maybe just this axle bolt I'm not sure, but we're going to see what's going to We're going to try it out and see. What is that right there? Of something all right okay so we took the axle nut and we took this off now the chain is super loose we took it off on both sides so now we should be able to drop this chain off push this forward a little bit is it all the way forward Okay, so we got all of this off and it looks like we can slide this back enough and this side back enough to just get stick that tube in there. We just got to get the tube on the other side right here and then start sticking it in. So, all right, so you guys, so somehow you're just going to slide it in there in between. So come on, Darren, you got to pull this apart. Hold the bike, Dylan. Don't, don't mess it up. Is it gonna have enough room? Uh, See if you can just slide it in there. Carefully. Try to separate it, Devin. I don't like to it. It. Yeah, I know. You need to, okay, there you go. All right, looks like we got it in there. All right, so now we're gonna try to get this inside the tire and in the right spot. We gotta get the valve stem in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so hold on. All right. Well, we did have to unseat this bead right here. I should have videoed it, but it was a little bit more of a pain in the butt. And then we got the tube in. And we got everything back lined up. We got the chain back on. Now we need to put the pieces back, but it wasn't too difficult. And we did make sure not to squeeze the brake rotors because this did come out. So you don't want to collapse those pistons. So we're just gonna try to put everything back together and then maybe put some air in it. Okay, so we did put some air into this. It's 35, but I put 30 pounds. We got these things back on. We got the rotor back in its place. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, line up this wheel and adjust this chain. So we're probably gonna do this with like this piece of wood get everything lined up stretch back so anyways that's what we're gonna do now get everything lined up and then I may have to loosen up those pads right there and then reseat that stuff but uh, we'll see and we'll get up we'll get this axle stuff tightened up well we tighten everything back up we lined up the wheel chain seems like it might be a little tight We'll see though. Actually, it is really leaning on that, so maybe it's not. I'll have to double check that. I don't know, so it's probably fine. Um, you got it? It's pretty cool. Well, here, pull it off. Pull it off. Okay. Alright. Well, turn the key off. We tighten up all the bolts, got the chain. Yeah, see, it's pretty tight, but we'll see. They did send me a chain tensioner. They did send me also 
some four piston brakes but I'm gonna wait until these probably wear down put those on but we got the tube in I'm gonna add about five more pounds of air everything seems okay wow you can see right there look I'm sure that bolt went in I hope the camera can pick that up but look at that hole big old, it was a huge bolt talk about bad luck <clears throat> but uh, we got the bike back together and it was actually pretty simple pretty simple huh yeah yeah I, just held I mean you just held the bike but pretty simple Nathan no, no? <laughs> it wasn't too bad I mean look what did it take us about 30 minutes not never taking this apart so to summarize you got to take this bolt out you got to take these nuts off both sides there is a zip tie right here I did put one back I ended up cutting it and I think that just kind of helps to keep the cable from the motor out away from the rotor and then what I did was um, the brakes were a little bit off they were squeaking a little bit so I loosened these two bolts up and then I had uh, my son squeeze the brakes so it re-centered it and then I tightened these up and now it actually seems to be centered pretty good they're not it's not really rubbing and uh, that's about it so this bolt this bolt this bolt this bolt or nut bolt line everything back up get the tube in line everything back up and I mean pretty simple so I'm gonna take it for a test drive so if anybody breaks their leg it's gonna be me but I was taking for a test drive and then we'll see probably finish this video off three hours later all right well my boy took it out for a pretty long longer test ride everything looks good double checked everything says it rode smooth and uh well i guess that's all you can ask for so got it charging right now it was about half ways so get it ready for these guys and go for some riding but anyways i just wanted to close this video off saying we you know it wasn't too bad uh taking this or changing out this uh this tube um what i should have did was i should have just cut that zip tie from the beginning and we ended up i ended up just dropping this axle completely or like everything off really wasn't that big of a deal but um so literally this allen and then this nut both sides everything just kind of slides off once you get the chain off but uh anyway so just uh little quick video of how to change or the experience I guess of changing the um, a tube on one of these hub uh, e-bikes so it wasn't too bad uh, thing still rides awesome so if I have any more uh, issues or anything like that I'll uh, definitely make a video anyway signing off YouTube everybody have a wonderful day peace